Authority vested in me, I hereby constitute this gathering as a lawful congregation of the University of Limpopo. The Bible tells us that Daniel had a spirit that drove him in the things that he did. And we want to believe, Madam Chancellor Designate that the same spirit we believe you possess, the spirit of intelligence, the spirit that will lead this university to continue to be a university that is envied by many in the country and around the globe. We want to say to you congratulations that you have defied by being appointed all prejudices that are associated with women leadership. Thank you all for being here to celebrate with us the 60 year of existence of the University of Limbopo, which has culminated in the inauguration of the first female chancellor of the university. This occasion is also a memorial of the life of Unkhupo Zadiro and Stephen Bantu Biko. Today we usher in a new era at the University of Liboko, the inauguration of our first female chancellor, Dr. Ngozazana Zamini Zuma, an accomplished woman of great honor in South African society. As the University of Limbobo Council, we want to warmly welcome her into the fold of this prestigious university and thank her for accepting the role of Chancellor of the University. My tenure as Chancellor of the University of Limpopo has in one sense made me fundamentally know myself for the first time, yet acknowledging that the young student at Tefluop knew the man before he emerged into the world. This university, then University of the North, gave me a sound and solid foundation during the years 1970 to 1974. I am extremely proud to have had the honor of succeeding iconic President Nelson Holisha Samandela as Chancellor of this university, a man who could be described as global moral leader, African humanist, visionary strategist, as passionate as he was compassionate. I am also very delighted and honored to be succeeded by Dr. Nkosa Zanatlamini Zuma, veteran of the struggle for our country's liberation, liberator of myriads from suicide by smoking, leading exponent for healthy living, accomplished Pan-African leader in practice at the helm of our apex continental organization, the AU. As I hand over the baton, of the University of Limpopo, I wish you, Dr. Nkosazana Zlamini Zuma, the very best. Chair of Council, allow me to present to you 
Dr. Jamene Zuma, the Chancellor Designate of the University of Limpopo. It is with great appreciation and humility that I stand here today to accept the honor of the chancellorship of this institution, which has provided South Africa's body politic, especially the new president, the private sector, public service. We have provided the country with academia and with leaders in many aspects of our lives that the Council and the greater community of the University of Limpopo should bestow such an honor upon me, a rural African woman, during its 60th anniversary is indeed humbling. That this occasion also serves as a commemoration of the life of Comrade Dungkupuza Tiro, one of the fallen comrades, heroes, revolutionaries, pan-Africanists, is indeed even more humbling. Allow me to also recognize the sterling efforts of this hero and also the work of his nephew, of comrade Nkhupuze Tiro, who has immortalized the life of Nkhupuze through this book entitled Parcel of Death. Indeed, the life and heritage of Nkhupuze carries for us and these institutions many lessons as we carve our future. The one key lesson and trait we can learn from Tiro is best described by, by Ellen White when she says, I quote, the greatest want of the world is the want of men, I will add women, men and women who will not be bought or sold, men and women who in their inner souls are true and honest, men and women who do not fear to call the sin by its right name, men and women whose conscience is as true to duty as the needle to the pole, men who will stand for the right through the heavens fall. Close quote. Tiro was such a man. Such a man and women are few and far between, but we must nurture and build many more. I should also from the onset thank the outgoing chancellor, Dr. Ruel Koza, who has laid a solid foundation for us to build on. We must ensure that we develop patriotic professionals who are selfless and as selfless as Diro was. For it is, as Franz Fanon observed, that I quote, each generation must, out of relative obscurity, discover its mission, fulfill it, or betray it. The children of Tef Luop have been discovered by history and the beautiful ones have been born, it is now upon them to take the baton and advance South Africa into you. Mama, you are capable to change this student family background from an empty stomach 
to a hippopotamus stomach. Yeah, yeah, students who are not installing a slay queen. This university, as the president of the SRC has said, has just produced. We claim at an alumni and convocation that we account for over 80 percent of the lawyers that are in the area which was called Transvaal during apartheid. So that is the greatest contribution that the institution has done. We have produced. The president of the republic comes from here. The public protector of, of the Republic of South Africa comes from here. What we are saying as alumni and convocation is that we, we congratulate the progress that the institution has done. It is my singular honor to congratulate Dr. Nkosaza Nadlamini Zuma as the Chancellor of the University of Limpopo. Malbongwe! Kamala Makosgazi!